In July, STS-135, the grand finale for the American Space Shuttle program, lifted off with our experiment on it. We were at DECON, just at a table, discussing, you know, hey, these, these are the things we're doing for Key Club next year, this is what we want to plan. And then Ms. Norris said, oh, yeah, Mr. Short, the, the principal of my school, also gave us a, a folder, here's something else that we could do. Do you want to try and design an experiment to go up into space? Yeah, of course. And then, you know, sort of the bad news, we had two weeks to do it. SSEP is Student Spaceflight Experiment Program, and that's the program that we won our project through and got to go on the trip to Florida and had our project up in space, so that's who we entered our project through to NASA. Before we found out if we won, all we had to do was write a paper and make it sound good, but then when we found out we won, we knew we actually had to make this thing work now. So and then we spent the next like two weeks, we had about two weeks to test and like find a way to actually make this work. So that was, so I was excited, but at the same time kind of like, oh man, this means more work. At first we were going to do some with spiders, but then we realized it's a lot bigger project. So we got like all the AP students together and then we were going to do the blood coagulation but we realized we couldn't get the blood to go into space, and then we were researching it. Oh, here's a Rabidasis thaliana. Let's do this. Rabidasis thaliana. It's hard to say. A Rabidasis thaliana. It's like a mustard seed weed, nothing special. It's just one of those things you don't want in your grass. We were going to grow plants in space and uh, to basically just germinate plants in space and come back and see how they compared to plants that were seeds that were germinated on Earth. So, the, like with no gravity, because on Earth the taproot goes straight down and the stem comes straight up, and we were wondering that if in space, if it would, in the microgravity, if it would know that, like, which way to uh, grow the roots, if it would try to send out more than one root because the lack of gravity. And then we were interested in the xylem and phloem, if like it would still, if it would, like the, that's how water moves up and down throughout the stem of the plant. If those would grow the same ways, so water could still travel if, in the lack of gravity. Well, the Charles County Board of Education paid for us to actually go down and watch the final shuttle, you know, just to watch it lift off in uh, Florida. We were, we, we got tickets to the causeway, that's five miles away, that's the closest we can be without being an astronaut's family, which was amazing. It's, it's, I, 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 you know, expected to be in my basement watching it on my TV, but we were, we were actually able to go down there and watch the shuttle lift off with our experiment on it. And then, but then when we did find out that we were actually going to get to go down to Florida and see the launch, then it sort of hit me that we actually won, like we won something bigger than just the spot on the space shuttle. So it was pretty big, I'd say, yeah. I was extremely excited. Oh my God. My projects on there, like, it didn't hit me till I was in the car on the way home and I was like, mom, my stuff's up in space. And it was like, I never thought I'd say that. It was, it's a life-changing experience. We are not going to forget it for the rest of our lives. It's just one of those things that completely changes your life. And then we didn't sleep at all, really, because we were constantly doing stuff. We went to uh, the Florida Institute of Technology while we were down there. We went and saw the Kennedy Space Center one day, and then one day it was just a launch, and the launch was definitely the coolest thing. Just through the process, we weren't quite sure, Miss North and I weren't quite sure that the, the students were getting just how large, just how huge of a deal this was until the countdown started. And uh, I'm never gonna forget that moment because it was, it was uh, the culmination for, for the project for us. We watched it go off. You, you can't really, I can't really describe it in words. It's, it was awesome, it was amazing, it was the best feeling I've had in my life. So when it landed, we had, it was shipped, it was FedExed overnight to the University of Richmond and about two weeks later we went up there and got our results. Our control experiment did grow. We had a couple seeds that exhibited major growth, a couple seeds that unfortunately drowned, but it, our control experiment was a success. I think that they'll never forget it because it's something that not a lot of students can experience or have experienced um, 
and the fact that they were an integral part of that mission because their projects, along with other projects from other scientists around the world, were on that last space shuttle to go into space and dock with this, the International Space Station. And it just didn't stop there. You know, after the space shuttle came back, they had something that they can work with, and I feel like they really had a true science experience and that they learned that science is more than just something you learn from the textbook, but it's actually doing science that's, that's part of science too.